Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about sensors. Sensors is one of the most important thing in digital world or for robotics or embedded systems or machine automation. But you know, to perceive the world without perceiving the world properly, we cannot make any good action or we cannot make any good movement or we cannot make any good output. Okay, so that's why perceiving the environment, understand the environment, recognize, recognition of the environment is very, very important. Okay? So, that's why this lecture is very, very important. Okay? Sensors to perceive the environment. Here, we are saying sensing can be in two ways. One is by material, another one is by engineering. So, in surrounding us or around us there are a number of material that can react with the environment like some material that reacts with the temperature some material that react with the light some material that react with the pressure okay so that are some listed uh, some some materials are listed here one is thermistor it's a register but react with the temperature piezoelectric sensor that is a material that react with the pressure okay Pyroelectric, yeah, pyroelectric material that, uh, how to say, that react with the infrared, okay. Electromagnetic, you know, by the name you can understand, it react with the magnetism. Semiconductor, it react with a lot of things, temperature, light, electric flow, everything, okay, a lot of things. Then radioactive material, it's not actually a sensor, but it, it, it used to sense the world okay in in some way usually in smoke sensor uh, radioactive material is commonly used then the capacitive sensor resistive sensor conductive sensors are the list of materials okay so if we look inside the sensors actually we will find one of these kind of materials and on right side you can see there are sensors by material that means this is also this, this is also called a sensor but actually it's not sensing the environment directly. We, we did some engineering or some scientists or some engineers did some engineering inside the sensors, okay. So, one is gyroscope. We are going to discuss in details about it. One is gyroscope, another is microphone. Microphone is using, you know, uh, electromagnetic sensing. Then camera. Camera is actually using the CCD. Then LiDAR. LiDAR is using laser sensor. Pulse oximeter is working using by the light sensing okay level sensor by using magnet Hall effect sensor electromagnetic brake beam some IR or LDR vibrator kind of physio accelerometer physio and also some capacitive sensor is using for uh, measuring the accelerometer uh, acceleration okay so as I told you sensing by either material or by engineering. In this session, we are not going to discuss how a sensor can be embedded with a processor or with a microcontroller or with a digital system, but we are going to discuss how sensor works, what is behind the sensing. Okay? So, let us discuss about it. There is another thing which is active sensor and another passive sensor. Active sensor means the sensor need to emit something to sense. Okay, so it's a pair. One is emitter, another one is sensor. But for the passive sensor, it's actually sensing from the environment directly. Like LDR, LDR is sensing the light, direct light from the sun or direct light from this room. Okay, but the sonar sensor, one speaker is sending a sound in a specific frequency and the other receiver or the microphone that is receiving the sound and keeping the time like after how long the sound came back okay so by using this thing the sonar sensor is working so that is called active sensor okay but the ldr is called passive sensor temperature sensor it's not emitting anything okay just sensing the temperature of the room so that is also a passive sensor okay now Sensor actually came from the transducer. What is transducer? Transducer actually convert the energy from one form to another. 
can be from pressure to uh, how to say uh, temperature or temperature to a stop cork or valve okay or from sound to electricity something like this so sensor came from the transducer so sensor is a part of trans transducer okay in which the input can be anything but output should be a electric signal okay so sometime one sensor is called transducer sometimes the same things can be named as sensor okay so here are some uh, some trans transducer example one is pressure pressure transducer that is used in refrigerator and air conditioner then the piezoelectric transducer which is used in buzzer or uh, lighter the lighter used for lighting the cigarette then the ultrasound ultrasonography or sonar sensor is used this kind of thing that is used to uh, observe whether is there any abnormal situation is inside the stomach or not medical equipment and then the temperature sensor used in boiler okay to control the valve okay so this, this these things are called transducer but take a look all these things can be used as a sensor okay so sensor is a part of transducer so i actually divide the sensor in few uh, few 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 groups okay Th this is not the proper group or i cannot say this is the uh, best group but for your understanding or to part our lecture in different segments i have uh, divided in some groups one is light based sensor that means in this section we are going to discuss about the sensors that work with light base li that, that work with the principle of light and the second part we are going to discuss about magnetic and electromagnetic sensors on third part we are going to discuss about sound based sensor then we will discuss some other modern sensors that actually sensor by engineering or a bit different from other three uh, three things okay then we are going to discuss about water conductivity based sensing okay like rain sensor uh, uh, steam sensor something like that and then we are going to discuss on underwater sensor so these are the uh, different type of sensors we are going to discuss in this in, in, in this section okay now light based sensor you see the first one is camera infrared LDR, X-ray, UV ray, heartbeat sensor, laser sensors. Okay, let us discuss the camera first. Is the most commonly used sensor. Okay, so we can see in this figure. Actually, the sensing part is the CCD, charged couple device. As I can remember, Sony have built this CCD. Okay, they make a revelation. Okay, camera is one big revelation in the technological world. Okay, so what is happening actually light is coming from the sun or the light and it's reflecting from our body and by using a lens it's focused on the CCD. Okay, so one lens is used for the focusing. CCD is the sensor that is making the electric signal based on the light okay based on the rgb it's making electric signal okay so our computing system cannot read or our digital system cannot read the electrical signal that's why you need adc okay you see there is adc an to digital converter after that then the digital signal came to the dsp digital signal processing unit it's actually a computer okay that actually processes the image like according to our requirement or the auto configuration of the uh, of the of the camera like it have to focus on something or it have to make the face clear or if it, it have to blur the background or if we want to embed the date and time inside the pictures that kind of things are called uh, digital signal processing okay so by processing all these things it need to save this data inside a storage device so for storing, we need to use some format like for recent camera or recent mobile phone. When we take the picture, it's converted into JPG format. Okay, so that's the compression technique. So in digital signal processor, there is a compressor that also compress the big picture onto a special format. 
like JPG. Okay, and you can see there is a clock that is also synchronizing of all the tasks. Okay, from when the CCD will send, then it have to be inside the DSP. Okay, inside the ADC, then from ADC to DSP, then DSP to memory card, and again refresh for the next picture or again make it yourself ready for the next picture. Okay, so that's the, that the clock part or the timer that is handling all these things.